Think about whether such a relationship really is worthwhile for you to be so feeling so anxious about. If it's if this relationship is so vulnerable like that, like all it takes is just one mistake. My lovely dear friends, hi. Please just call me Nai because this channel used to be Tarot on Cloud Nine. <laughs> now it I've changed. I made a little tweak tweak of this uh, the format of my channel, so I changed the name to be more inclusive. On my channel, I aim to provide you with the most insightful and inspiring divine messages from the universe, spirits, and more. If you clicked on this video, that means today's message is exactly and specifically for you. Okay, with the intro out of the way, today we're going to be asking the divine about one particular thing. If he or she will ever reply to you, he or she can be your partner, a close friend, your boss, BFF, um, an ex, a parent or sibling, and so on. Just the person in your mind right now, he or she, this person. I think you already know who you want to hear back at this point. So let's just start the reading right away. I'm going to follow my intuition using a mix of this tarot deck, Good Karma Tarot. Uh, I'm not going to lie, this is my first deck I ever purchased for myself. And so I'm glad that I can share this abundance with you. I feel really happy right now. Hopefully we can get some really insightful message for you. And also this Oracle deck, Shamanic Healing Oracles. I just really enjoy the art, the, their art style in this deck. So I'm gonna use it again. I don't have a fixed number in my mind this time as to um, exactly how many cards I'll pull out this time. We'll just follow the flow and let all the divine energies guide us. Out of the blue, you know what? I think I really want to divide this reading into three parts. First, let's see, before today, what the divine wants to let you know about whether he or she would have um, replied or not. Um, prior to this conversation, you joined just now. I mean, before today, before literally surrendering yourself entirely to the divine guidance right now, what were the chances of them getting back to you? Okay, I hope I've made my <laughs> intention really clear for the first part. Okay, you have the devil. Um, let's just continue. King of coins. Okay, I feel like one more. The high priestess. Okay. One second. So this is the first part, the before, and also your oracle for this part is new beginning, uh, new beginnings. I'll put it here. Okay. Hmm. Just. One second, let me think. <clears throat> mm, okay, 
So that's a mixed answer. Yes and no. Actually, no, and then yes. No, because I see that if you simply give up and allow fate, uh, I mean, if you simply just gave up and allowed fate to naturally just run the gamut of your destiny, then quite frankly, we're talking about before, right? You have both the high priestess and the devil. These two um, crazily powerful, enigmatic, and somewhat dark archetypes. Um, they reveal the kind of fateful serenity between you and him or her. It was supposed to come to an end. Uh, you guys have finished um, your karmic uh, cause and effect, this ties that you have shared. Um, it was supposed to end. Um, you're supposed to accept this fate uh, that actually there shouldn't be any more further bondage, uh, any kind of bonding or progress in this relationship anymore. Uh, see the chain, the chains on your neck. Um, since your ties have reached the end in this lifetime already, uh, I don't think you should uh, have the freedom anymore. I mean, prior to today, um, actually your freedom, not necessarily freedom, uh, which word should I use? Uh, I mean, uh, your fate, your mutual fate, actually it had come to an end already. So you guys were not supposed to have any kind of connection with each other anymore. You are destined to begin anew and cut the old ties. All the karma, um, it had been paid back and completed. Quite frankly, the king of coins, the most mature realization of materialism in the human world, it's also helping with the interpretation a lot. Both the devil combined with king of coins and king of coins in conjunction with the high priestess, um, these kind of combinations are both saying that pretty clearly even if, um, I don't think so, but even if you and this person would still have any kind of ties with each other, uh, you guys would most likely bond over business or work. In other words, um, it would be only like pure for materialistic, uh, pragmatic reason for you guys to have any kind of connection uh, afterwards. Um, instead of like any kind of romantic or more transcendental relationships. Um, I don't think such relationships would have continued to exist between you guys. But remember, I mentioned that this is before and I, I am a believer of free will. Of course, I also believe in fate and karma. So I believe there are part of your destiny that you can change. You can use your uh, free will to change. Mm, if you work like properly, I mean, if you're like really aligned with the purpose, I believe you can use your free will to change 
uh, in one way or another to change uh, part of the result, even if it's supposed to be faithful. So, I want to make today's reading short and sweet, to the point. So I'll just move on to the next, the next part. I will say this next part. Um, it will be. I will just follow your light. I am led by your light. That that's like still guiding me in this reading. I'm just feeling very strongly for you guys. This is unique. All right. That said, you have. Eight of Cups. I will explain to you what this next row means. Knight of Swords. And then you have Three of Wands. Okay. Let me just pull out your Oracle card for this row as well. First, you have anger. St uh, st stun people like a bee with anger. That's what this card is telling me. Um, so, hmm, the answer, this role is... Hmm, I see that since you are here, right, you're tapping into the divine wisdom in this reading. So there's something shifting in the actualization of your karmic relationship with him or her. So this is before, I'm just letting you know, but it's, it's no longer true. Instead, your energy is actually shifting here. The answer now even though it's still yes and no. Actually, again, no and then yes. The energy is shifting quite slowly with, with lots of nuances. Still, it already began to shift. It's just pretty slowly, you know? And, and, and meanwhile, I see no and yes as to if he or she is going to reply to you at all according to the current direction of your energy shift. You have to be the one who initiate the interactions at the beginning. You know, like, I mean, you're not just um, waiting for their re response, you also kind of have, kind of have to like, uh, you have to be the one who actively take control of the interactions between you guys as a whole. Uh, you control the pace, the temperature, and how engaging you want them to be, all that, all that sort of things. It's supposed to be now, like, kind of shifting to your course. Now the ball is in your course. Mm, however, it's still risky. It takes only one mistake during the entire process uh, when you're still, like, trying to find the balance and very carefully uh, kind of, like, navigating your communication. And all it takes is one mistake for the bond between you and this person to be terminated by the other person or by, or by your environment or by the circumstances outside of your control. Maybe as soon as you lose your temper or even just Whenever you show the tiniest uh, signs of like feeling even just a little bit annoyed or angry, then basically it's over. It's over. It's done. 
you know. However, though, <clears throat> that said, I think in that case, right? Seriously, you have to think, think about whether such a relationship really is worthwhile for you to be so feeling so anxious about. If it's if this relationship is so vulnerable like that, like all it takes is just one mistake. You really have to think whether you want to still like persist in this kind of uh, this kind of like uh, stubbornness. I kind of feel like you have to let go of something, but I think we should move on. No and yes, right? Yes and no, yes and no, but basically no and then yes, no and then yes. So the chances are rather on the slimmer side uh, up until this point, okay? How about the last row? How about uh, the future? If the energy you allow, we allow the energy to continue to shift. Um, if you decide to first cultivate your patience, just choose to focus on yourself only and nurture your spirit. Let's say after today's reading, you think to yourself, why do I consider him or her more important than myself? Why am I still waiting for, for their response after all this time has passed and I haven't heard from them? I should just practice my own craft, improve my personal life, learn spirituality, etc. And just stop torturing myself from now on. What if you can finally just let go of any attachment and use your free will in just uh, concentrating in on like improving and pursuing your personal well-being and things that you uh, your willpower, your conscious and subconscious can actually control. What will happen then in the future, right? If the energy keeps shifting in that direction. Well, he or she then reply, right? Uh, what are the chances? What will the chances be once you really, really let go? <clears throat> Let's see. So, you have a chariot. And then you have Nine of Wands, Nine of Wands. I think this will be the last card for you guys. I am just feeling like nine cards and then three oracles will be enough. Six of Swords, climbing the mountain, but fully prepared. Uh, getting yourself to somewhere safe and higher. Okay, I will definitely say that um, the chariot, um, nine of wands, and last but not least, for sure, right? Six of swords. And then, oh, I think still an oracle card is needed. Perception, this duality, perception. Okay, but first, I need to make sure that you can, you guys can see everything. I will move it, move them up a little bit, like that, like this. Mm -hmm. How about that? Fantastic, great, fantastic. Oh, uh, okay. This is okay. This is great. Okay. I would just say 
perception, even though it's not an absolutely resounding yes, it's pretty close, my dearest friends. You see, mm, it's not one hundred percent, but uh, like, but so far in this reading, this row is the closest. It's almost there, you know, almost one hundred percent, maybe um somewhere like seventy five percent. Uh, for the last result in your reading, 75% chances for them to reply to you once you can really let go and uh, must stop waiting. Yeah, you must stop waiting. Um, but instead, like really, really, you can strive for improving yourself and your surroundings. Focus on yourself. The harder you can strive for taking care of yourself only and uh, let go of this attachment, the higher the chances that they will uh, reply to you. This is the duality. You let go and then, <laughs> like on the other, like, on the contrary, they get to reply to you more, like there are more possibilities for them to actually reply to you, literally. And also, the sooner you can let go, the sooner they'll reply to you too. Uh, indeed, my friend, I see that the sooner you decide, like once and for all, just to cease any communication with him or her. Just stop and allow your interaction to come to a halt. Completely just stop. Like maybe a sudden stop. Something like that. You just cut, the, cut your communication all at once. Just when you think you should give it all up and stop trying. And this person will reply to you. It's pretty, <laughs> it's tricky like that. The situation is honestly tricky like that. And their response will surprise you a lot, really, like a lot. <sighs> you will be the one who can enjoy a sense of triumph in the end via the response and also through your hard work in striving to have a better life for yourself so you take care of yourself you focus on yourself and their response will surprise you and then the eventual triumph uh, the ultimate uh, win the ultimate victory is on your side and you will benefit from both sides, from your own actions and also from their responses. So just by choosing yourself over the, the person whom you are so super anxiously, I definitely see that you're anxiously expecting them to reply to you all this time, all along, and um, it's kind of causing you a little bit make make you feel pretty nervous just by choosing your own happiness um you can instead win over this person uh-huh that's really that's that's pretty tricky in your spread like really <laughs> um the last row also makes me Think of another archetype, even though it's currently currently not in your spread. But um, the hand man changing your perceptions and also making a drastic change in your approaches, completely like 180 degrees. You just change everything. Uh, like the hand man, you're like, 
view this world from upside down point of view, completely like 180, the fact that he or she hasn't replied to you so far has made you feel like powerless and hopeless. But if you can see this whole thing from a different angle, actually from the eyes of the divine, you'll see it like, like it's actually only a test uh, of your mindset. The divine is trying to see whether you have uh, the, the mindset that deserves their blessings. You are always deserving, nonetheless, but this part, including someone else, right? It's including someone else. So you need some kind of like negotiation and mediation in between it's not just about you if it's only about you then of course you deserve all kinds of blessings from the divine but the, the important thing is to see if you are are you regarding yourself as someone like smaller or equal just like everybody else or you think yourself smaller than someone else, for example, this person, by waiting for them, right, uh, for this extra long time, you kind of, you're kind of proving to the divine that you are considering yourself less than or smaller than this, the other person that you're waiting for. So that's definitely not how the divine actually sees you in the eyes of the divine you are you guys are equal nobody should be waiting for some for the other person so i have no doubt about that you guys are equal equally important you have equal value in this world so you deserve so much more and if the other person can see that, then you deserve someone better. If that's what you want, of course. And it all depends on what you are focusing on, what you are paying attention on, where you put your, um, your mind on, basically. And that's going to be the the central point that you are trying to manifest um so you deserve so much more so don't it, from the last row i can see that definitely don't wait but do uh strive uh do do uh, put into the effort of improving yourself and focusing on only yourself at least for uh, spending the time that you are waiting for them in yourself instead, rather than this, this other person, because waiting is passive. And but you are supposed to actively nine of ones, you're supposed to actively like, pursuing something. And from here, it's about yourself. It's not about the other person. So I can even see a proposal of love, love or business of some kind. Really, like a proposal of something. Like uh, someone is coming into your life with a news. Kind of like that. Uh, they are bringing some kind of message to you and they're coming. Uh, and this is going to be a good news. Because the chariot and the six of swords, they are auspicious cards. So dream as big as you can and be as ambitious as you want. Especially when it comes to how this karmic bond will evolve. You can dream of it as, as magnificent as you want. And also, like... You can think of it like ultimately you want it to turn into something 
maybe uh, not not temporary, but maybe you want something that will be long lasting, that will make you happily ever after. Anything is possible in your case, cause we're not because I'm not seeing like where you are heading towards. I'm just knowing. I just know that you're heading towards somewhat somewhere safe, and that's the most important thing to know. The destination in the, at this point is not that important, but something bigger and better is definitely waiting for you. It can be the continuation of this current uh, situation that you are anticipating uh, so eagerly and so a little bit anxiously, but it can also be something else. It can be something bigger and better, and they can also happen simultaneously and in your favor. If you understand how to use and maneuver your own manifesting power, that's the key. So that's all I get from your spread in this reading. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got the answer. Mm. Even though the energy shifting is pretty slow, but since you're here, you are actively trying to change this energy so it's already begun the the shift is already begun even though it's slow but if you allow it to progress and let it go um cut the attachment and assume uh, the sooner you can do that really completely voluntarily the sooner you'll get a response from him or her. Hope you enjoyed it again. If you do, please remember my friends to press like and subscribe. I really appreciate your love and support by doing that. Thank you again for watching. Wish you all a happy week ahead. Talk to you guys tomorrow and bye-bye. Kiss.